and welcome to my video tutorial on how to add mist in photoshop i have also wrote it on my blog post but just in case you can't read i don't have eyeballs here's a video to listen to <laughs> so first off what you need is a sky cloud background you want it to be quite moody the moodier the better now hopefully you've got a stock gallery of clouds if not you need to start one uh, so yeah this is the image here so this is how it starts off in Lightroom so make sure there's there's different textures to the cloud like it's dark and light and you can see all these bits here which define the clouds which later on will uh, become the mist so first thing we want to do is right click export Oh, sorry wrong button you want to edit in edit in Photoshop CC as you can see I've already got a pre-processed image ready now this image was shot just get rid of that this image was a uh, shot on quite a cloudy day so it's soft light I shot this natural light uh, it's in West Yorkshire, a place called Shipton Hall, really old. So, I mean, looking at the image now, it looks pretty good, but it just felt to me that there's something missing, uh, and I felt it needed a bit of atmosphere, and usually putting a bit of mist into it always adds that. So it's an easy technique. All you have to do is get your uh, cloud image into Photoshop, as we have done. Next, you want to, you can either desaturate the image or turn it into black and white. Uh, you, you can and you can do this two ways. You can do it from the menu at the top, or you can use an adjustment layer down here. That would be on the layers panel, which is just here. So I'll just do it this way. Black and white. There we go. So with this, what it brings up a panel, the black and white panel, and you can mess around here, changing the. Uh, contrast with the blue with the different channels but I don't usually mess with that what I do is I'll change it to black and white and then I want a bit of contrast on the curves adjustment layer Let's pull the darks down we want a lot of contrast here but not too much maybe the whites just a little bit more looks better like around here that's good enough so I'll flatten that layer, flatten the adjustment layer into the image. So it's looking quite good. So what you want to do now is a control A to select the whole image, control C to copy it. And then we want to paste it on top of our processed image. So I'll control V and it should post that straight into there. So what you want to do then is add a layer mask and change our blend mode to screen so that's what it gives us first so there's a bit of a uh, toning to do to the image still to the cloud we need to fine tune things so putting it on the screen blend mode that basically gets rid of the blacks in the image and leaves you with the whites so what we want to do now is control T let's zoom out and then bring the cloud image resize it so it looks okay enter so as you can see it looks from the bottom here you can see how the mist is going to form and the, we can keep some of this stuff up here but we don't want it covering the whole image so what you want to do is you want to get a soft brush which is about you can do it with a soft round brush but it'll probably look a bit too photoshoppy Technic technical term for you there what you want to do is if you've got some uh, free brushes from the internet is find one like a cloud brush like this I think this one was actually from Flern which is a Photoshop tutorial site you want to check it out it's probably one of the best on the internet so yep we'll use this get rid of that 
so now we'll zoom back in so with your layer mask to white you want to change your brush to black so if you press D oops sorry X that will reset your uh, brush colors and now let's turn the opacity down to about 10 and just slowly brush paint black onto your layer mask and as you can see it'll start erasing some of the mist so what I'm going to do is erase some of the mist at the top turn that up a little bit change your brush sizes and make sure it don't look too so now we've done that I think on the original image just decided I want the character to be less covered by the fog mist whichever you like to call it turn the opacity down a little and just brush around in the centre see if you look at your layer mask you can see where you're painting turn it around find that a little bit now once you've done that and you think you've got your mist layer uh, resized how you want it and, and the correct angle you want it you can then also lower the opacity of the layer to, so the strength isn't as strong. In my opinion, less is better. Get more of a realistic effect. Let's get some of the red in there. I don't want any mist up at the top and on the corners. So then, I mean, that that's looking a lot better to me and a lot more realistic. Now you can fine tune little areas by painting black and white on your layer mask to add and take away. But another way of controlling is by adding another curves adjustment layer. Now if you click on the shadows and pull down the effect as the areas become darker they will start to disappear so if you pull it down like that you get less mist. If you pull it up, you can get more. That's what I like, I think. Pull it down a bit. That to me looks a lot better. Let's see what happens if we pull the highlights up a little. Not much really. Although it gives it gives it quite a good effect. We'll put it on like that. And that's basically it you can can go as strong as you want on that or you can go as weak as you want in my opinion uh less is better